Jews for Jesus is a controversial group of Christians trying to get Jews to convert. They've got a long history of doing some incredibly offensive things. Let's look at the most recent example. They released an ad timed for the holidays to appeal to their Jew Jewish brothers named That Jew Died for You. Let's watch. Jesus. Links? Duschen. Duschen? No, no. Wow, that, they have I, a... I don't know that that's the worst ad in world history, but it's in the running. <laughs> Although they did have a jib. That's Look at that. True. Nice little yeah. shot yeah. there. Yeah. The yeah. Above. Yeah. Uh, that Jew died for yeah. you? Uh, Who thought that was a good idea? Who thought the title, wait, that Jew died? <laughs> no, I, mean, I, think, yeah. I think somebody early on in the editing process, like the second draft, was probably like, dude, this is crazy. You gotta put it in black and white. That'll really sell the period. <laughs> I mean, if it were just called the Jew who died for you, it would be better. Yeah, and now <laughs> you have to understand. Jew, that Jew died for you. You have to understand the other element of this. Jews for Jesus, their whole point is to convert Jews to Christianity, right? Mm -hmm. If you wanted to appeal to Jews, I'm not sure you would have gone with the title, that Jew died for you. <laughs> and I'm not sure you would have taken the Holocaust, which is of course, you know, one of the worst things that's ever happened in world history, and particularly happened to, to Jews, and say, oh, okay, by the way, um, as uh, one of the guys here said, not to state the obvious, but it desecrates the memory of six million Jews to use their suffering as a way to convert Jews to Christianity, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this has got every bad idea in the world wrapped up into one. It makes my stomach turn when I was watching it. I literally got a visceral response. I was like, oh, I want to throw out. This is so horrifying, right? And I, I understand that their intent is to disassociate Christianity from the, the camps and to say, you know, the Nazis and the Jewish internment camps had nothing to do with Christianity. Look, they even, why, why would they do this? They put Jesus Christ in the like, gas chambers. It had nothing to do with Jesus Christ. But it's disgusting and it's an opportunistic like move to further their agenda. And it's incredibly disrespectful to all the families of these over six million Jews that died yeah. in the Holocaust. It is so incredibly um, disrespectful that I, I don't even have the words to like explain how horrific I think this is. They make a mini this documentary. So angry. <laughs> the uh, Jews for Jesus says that uh, in reality uh, he is to be identified with those who were the victims. Uh, the Holocaust has been used perhaps more than any other topic, any event or topic, to prevent Jewish people uh, from considering the good news of Jesus. No, <laughs> like, how about... Like, that turned in one second. They were just like, you know, the Holocaust is used by the Jews to prevent you all from recognizing no, the, maybe the, the beauty of Jesus, the good news about Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it was hard to hear the good news of Jesus uh, over the din of the Nazi tanks. Yeah, right? that's right. So, yeah, it, like there's this quote at the end. Uh, in fact, he suffered and died on our behalf to show us the love of God. They're referring to Jesus and how the Jews should see that. Well, how come instead of seeing that love, they wound up seeing the Holocaust? So it's hard to go to the people who yeah. are the family members who survived the Holocaust and had family members killed and say, oh, why aren't you accepting the love of Jesus already? What's wrong with you? Like, why are you letting the Holocaust get in the way of joining That's our right. group? It ends here with a statement there from uh, this uh, uh, Susan Perlman. We want, Jew uh, we want Jewish people to understand the sufferings inflicted at the hand of the Nazis were in no way based on the teachings of Jesus. In fact, he suffered and died on our behalf to show us the love of God. Like, we don't think that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, thanks. That's right. That's not. I blame just the Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing: that the the Holocaust is just the worst example of a history of a couple of thousand years of Christians preying on Jews in that part of the world. It wasn't some isolated incident. And I know that 
you're not supposed to say this. I, I feel like I'm living in bizarro world, but the Nazis were Christians. And I, you know, I don't want to go all Christopher Hitchens and everything. You can watch one of his videos if you want to find all the examples. But if you'd love to get smashed sometime, pick up a copy of Mein Kampf and do a shot every time he talks about his Lord. Their jewelry, their belt buckles had Bible references on it. They had the, com the, the, the cooperation of the Catholic Church. They were explicitly, not just sort of implicitly Christian, mm -mm. they were definitely really Christian. Now, but you're not supposed to say that. It's supposed to be some sort of atheist, communist thing. It's not even fascist Well, anymore. they weren't, the, the, re, religion wasn't their motivating factor, at least not Hitler. Hitler says it was his motivating factor in his writings. And by the way, it's, it, you know it's partly motivating because he picked another religion to destroy. Right? So that wasn't an accident either. But I'm actually in between you guys. Like, so yes, on the belt buckle, it says, Gott mit uns, mm -hmm. right? God is with us, right? And, and everything John said is true and about Mein Kampf, etc. Now, the thing is, that doesn't mean that Jews blame Jesus for right. it. I mean, <laughs> Jesus said, turn the other cheek. He was the Prince of Peace, right? He didn't tell the Nazis to do this. The Nazis did it on their own. And I think that what they're doing is projection, right? Because there's a lot of Christians, fundamentalists, who think, oh, the Jews killed Jesus, right? Which I've always found to be the most bizarre thing because Jesus was Jewish. <laughs> like, how can you be mad at the Jews? Jesus was Jewish, right? Anyway, so I think that they think, well, if we think that way, they must think that way. So they yeah. think, oh, Jesus is to blame for the Holocaust. Yeah. But I don't think anybody really thinks that. Like, no, that's you what, can blame that's, Christianity that's, and, and different strains true. of it, yeah. but not that's Jesus what I mean. that's what I, And that's what I'm saying about the, about the Nazis, is that there are so many more political movements recently, including here in the United States, that are more wrapped up in religion than the Nazis used it. Like, yeah, that's the, correct. It wasn't, you know, it, yes, all those things you said are true. It wasn't, it, regardless of what he says in his giant propaganda book, it wasn't their motivating force. They didn't talk mm -hmm. about it. They didn't make big shows. It's funny, I mean, the people who make big shows about going to church on Sunday are American presidents. You know, Hitler mm -hmm. wasn't like, oh, Hitler, we're all going to church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love Jesus. I mean, I think you both bring up I mean, a good and point. Because re real religious leaders, of course, were a threat to them. Legitimate religious mm -hmm. leaders were a threat to them, too. Yeah, and, it's be and speaking of religious leaders, you know, Jesus being a religious leader, I think no one's blaming Jesus per se, but Jesus as sort of a manifestation of God. Like, people do feel like, okay, if things like the Holocaust exist, then does a God exist? Does a God who's omniscient, omnibenevolent, omnipotent exists? Like, how can horrific things like this happen yeah. if there's a God that could have stopped this? So I think that's where religion plays a part in this, and that this is clearly something evil. It's clearly something wrong. And perhaps if there is a God, this should have been stopped. Like, some people have that belief, and this is why religion is being pushed here in the college. But that's why I have this ranked in the top 10 worst ads in world history, because <laughs> not only is it super offensive, it's incredibly ineffective. Very yes. Because if, not only are you turning off everyone yeah. you're trying to appeal to, but on top of that, to buttress uh, Lissette's points there, if Jesus was at the camps, why didn't he do something about it? Mm -hmm. 